Heart Dwellers, we're on high alert today, November 21st. I was playing music from an album totally separate from the rest of my uh, music library. And all of a sudden, the Lord brought up this message. The destruction of America, the modern-day Nineveh. The steadfast endurance of Jesus in his passion be with you all. Please, our dwellers, pray the divine mercy prayer. The three o'clock hour is best if you can, but please do pray it and avail yourselves to the stations of the cross, which will greatly strengthen you in adversity. When I had communion service, I held the wine up to the Lord, and as on other nights, I saw him take the chalice and pour it over the earth. I also saw him break the host over the earth. He is pouring himself over the earth for those last-minute conversions and in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. Jesus is holding me very closely. His mood is pensive. He began, Oh, Claire, we are so very close, so close. I am breathless. This is much more intense than my passion, much more. Oh, I sense a groaning coming up from his bowels. He continued, up until now I have not allowed you to see my status, but I must tell you I am in excruciating pain. I am truly breathless. This is the worst thing that I have ever had to do. There is no parallel, but the earth must be cleansed of the filth that has overtaken it. So much harm has been done by the greedy and the rich. They are literally eating the food off the plates of the poor. Whereas I created the earth rich in resources for all, poverty was never necessary, although I have used famines to get the attention of my people. But now what can I say? Father, deliver me from this hour. But not my will, but thy will be done. It must be done. But how overwhelmingly sinister and dark are the days ahead. My bride, how can I hide them from you? You know I have not been transparent with you. And it is not my heart, nor my custom, to keep things hidden from my very own flesh and blood. Oh, my heart stands still, and there is silence in heaven for what must soon come to pass. All are astonished and holding their breaths for the destruction of the nations. All are intensely tuned into this hour upon us. We are in complete and extraordinary unity. And all are holding their breath, just as I am. The earth itself waits with all creation, groaning over what must come to pass. The universal awareness of the struggle between light and darkness is amplified thousands of times in the very being of my creation. Oh yes, my creation has being, though it is not in my likeness. Nonetheless, it has awareness of those things necessary to it. And like a horse being ridden by a drunkard, it is acutely aware of the corruption of mankind, yet acutely aware, yes, acutely aware, it is the hour of blackness, the triumph of evil over good. I open the Bible to the book of Nahum, which is all about the destruction of Nineveh and how the cruelty of the Assyrians was felt by other nations. It was destroyed by fire and water. 
Lord, please, I am troubled by what has been said about Putin. Is he really with the elite after all? He is only complying with what must be done. He, in fact, does not have control of the world. Neither do the Chinese. They are all scripted, Claire. He is a decent man, much like John Paul II was a decent man, but under the control of principalities. Does this put your heart at ease? Yes, I guess so, Lord. My daughter, I am truly watching over the words of your mouth. You cannot hope to be perfect, but I can. Rest in this. And here I want to interrupt for just a second because I was having scruples. I was afraid maybe I wasn't hearing the Lord. And that's the reason why he said this. I am watching over our flock and what they receive. Thank you, Lord. It really helps me, it reassures me. The Lord continued, How can I speak? My tongue cleaves to the roof of my mouth in anticipation of what mankind will suffer. I can barely speak. So horrendous is the reality of the hour that is upon us. Prayers are being offered up as thick clouds of smoke rising to my Father's throne all over the earth because my people know what is coming. Arrangements are being made by my angels to lessen the judgments in some areas because of these prayers. New York City is one of them, although they do not realize the heights of evil this city has risen to. It is likened to the throne of Satan in evil. While the fate of the city will not be changed, The fate of its individuals will. There will be protection and provision extended to certain ones. Others have made themselves a fragrant offering for the unsaved. There are miracles of grace and hearts the size of a great canyon interceding right now. My Father will have great pity on many. In this hour, my children, I cannot stress the importance of prayer. If you do not have a burden, you need only to ask. Begin praying in tongues, and whoever comes to mind, offer up your prayers for them, and the burden will be gently placed on your shoulders. Follow up on it. Be responsive to my spirit. Great wonders of mercy will take place because of your tender hearts. There are thrones in store for many of my faithful prayer warriors. They have no desire for such things, and that is precisely what qualifies them. Yes, thrones are prepared, and from these thrones you will administer justice and assistance to the downtrodden and oppressed. Your response to humanity is what will qualify you to rule and reign not what you care about in this moment. But know that in that moment you will be overjoyed at the power given you to change evil to good by the assistance of my angels assigned to you. For the rest of you who have not received burdens as yet, ask and they shall be given. I leave you now with these words of encouragement. Many that will perish knew that from their conception and agreed to it for the sake of others. In heaven, so many things are clearly understood. Spiritual realities are well understood, even by those souls just created from the substance of my Father's heart. They well understood their offering before they came to earth. Others who have chosen the paths of the world and repeatedly rejected me, have chosen their eternity as well. Pray for a millisecond of repentance to that hour, that I might have an excuse to fetch them from the claws of Satan. You are about to enter into a horrific war zone, my people. Please be prepared to sustain your prayers for the world, and above all, cleave to me. Leave to me, leave to me, 
with all your might. I am with you even in the darkest of hours. Cleave to me.